I'm Dr. Laura Conover, and today I want to go a little deeper into the science behind grounding. We know from two decades of medical studies that touching the earth puts our body in a healing state, but why? In previous videos, I've explained that the natural energy flow of the universe is DC, direct current. That is the natural energy that emanates from the earth. It runs up all living things. Anything that touches the ground has the earth's DC energy running through it. So that includes, you know, a blade of grass to the tallest tree, bodies of water, anything conductive or even semiconductive like rocks and like concrete, cement, sidewalks. All of these are waiting outside to ground your body. And when you touch it, your highly conductive human body, every cell in your body from head to toe instantly becomes grounded. And that's because you are electrically, conductively making contact with that DC energy of the earth. And it turns out that our bodies also run on DC energy. Our brains think, pulsing out with DC energy, our heart beat. When we're doing an EKG, we're looking at the DC energy to follow the heartbeat. Muscles contracting, that's DC energy. So it's this perfect synchronization, this docking of our electrical body that runs on DC energy with the earth that pulses out with a heartbeat of DC energy. And that's the basis of grounding. So the earth has a global electrical circuit. That's what it's termed in the medical literature when it's described by a physicist, which is the earth has this DC energy and it is a circuit that encompasses the entire earth, which doesn't, that's why it doesn't matter where you are on this planet. If you touch the conductive surface of the earth with, you, with your conductive skin, any part of your body, any part, one cell, you become part of this global electrical circuit. So you can think of this global electrical circuit as two parts. It offers two different ways that our bodies sync up with the energy of the earth and start to become regulated and start to go in these healing patterns. So that Schumann resonance is basically, a, a we don't hear it, because it's too low to hear, but it's a hum. It's the hum of the earth, sometimes described as the heartbeat of the earth. It is a constant. So anytime, day or night, and anywhere we could live or be, if we go touch the earth, we will sync up with that constant healing frequency, which is fantastic, right? Unfortunately, because we live indoors, and even when we go outside, we typically have shoes on or clothing that's made out of synthetic fibers that prevent us from actually touching the earth. We have to be really intentional. We have to think every single day, did I? become part of nature's global electrical circuit? Did I plug my conductive body in to receive this source of power and healing? And if I haven't, then I'm living disconnected. I'm living ungrounded, which we can do, but as we do that and wear and tear accumulates in our body, we're a closed circuit. We're a dead end. So our inflammation builds up and we feel worse and worse and worse and our body feels wear and tear and we get exhausted and we also get out of sync with the day-night rhythm. Sleep suffers at night and our energy levels tank during the day. So we really do want to make sure that we are intentionally part of this global healing electrical circuit that nature offers us. If we don't plug in, we can't expect our bodies to work well over time because we again are this closed circuit and nothing electrical including our bodies works well when it's a closed loop it has to have a way for current to flow and that our body does that by grounding so to me beyond the fact that everything's dc energy and the fact that we we are conductive and can sync up with that and the fact that there's electron flow when we do that and beyond the schumann resonance that's pulsating out the heartbeat of the earth that we have to intentionally touch there is something called the carnegie curve this is another dc offering from the earth an electrical healing offering that allows our body to go into a healing state and i actually believe that the carnegie curve is probably more responsible for the healing state of our body than the Schumann resonance is. So the Carnegie curve is every 24 hours. This, there's been studies on the Carnegie curve since it, it was discovered back in 1915. There were studies from 1915 up to 1929. And um, basically they had a, a, a ship and they recorded the Earth's energy in all, different places around the world. Um, and the ship was called the Carnegie, so it's now called the Carnegie Curve. And what we know from that is that it's a 24-hour rhythmic wave of DC energy. And it peaks at 7 p.m., and it's the lowest at 3 a.m., and it repeats every 24 hours. And it doesn't matter where you are on the Earth. And this is why grounding initially, one of the first applications was to sink our body where we travel to and to help ameliorate jet lag. And that's because no matter where you are in the earth, you're going to be synced to this 24 hour Carnegie curve. So not only does 
the curve go lowest at 3 in the morning and then rise again by 7 p.m. and keep doing that no matter what time zone you're in. But also seasonally, no matter what season you're in, at the equinoxes, in the spring and in the fall, it's at its lowest. And at the solstices, which is in the summer and the winter, it's at its highest. So literally from becoming part of this global electrical circuit, your body knows what season we're in and what time of day we're in. Again, I don't think it's a coincidence that our brain is completely electric and it functions off of electrical current. And it functions off not just electrical current, but DC energy, DC current, direct current. It's the same as the Schumann resonance that's a constant hum providing a healing state at all times. And it's also the same as that Carnegie curve telling us day and night and telling us what season. So how long to sleep in the darkness of winter and in the brightness of summer. Practical experiments that were run even back in the 1970s have also shown that this is true. So this has been, this is described from physicists who have measured the DC energy of the earth. It has been reflected in the medical literature now for 20, 25 years, showing that our body responds to being plugged into this global electrical circuit. But it also has been practically tested. So what researchers did was they built underground bunkers. And they had test subjects live for an entire month, four weeks straight in these underground bunkers. They had no exposure to the sun. And they had, so one bunker was just completely disconnected from the sun. And living for an entire month, the test subjects were still able to maintain some internal synchronization with day-night rhythm. They still did a roughly 24 hour a day and night pattern of wakefulness and sleep. They also had a shielded bunker that was also then shielded from the, the natural DC energy of the earth. So it, not, it was over 99% effective at shielding that Carnegie curve and that Schumann resonance. So when people went into that bunker and lived for a month, many of them lost this internal synchronization and they became desynchronized. And in fact, in all of the studies, the only ones that became desynchronized and lost this pattern, day-night pattern, are the ones in the bunker that was shielded from the earth. This never happened to a single test subject in the bunker that was only just shielded from the sunlight. So after these studies, we know that it's actually the Earth's energy field that is really influencing our ability to sleep at night and our wakefulness during the day. Yet another reason that we really want to be intentional about every single day going outside and becoming part of this power source, becoming part of nature's global electrical circuit. And I, it's not a coincidence that our entire body from head to toe is conductive, waiting to conduct and have a healing response when it's supported from the source of this DC energy, which is the earth. So it, medical studies have shown that being grounded does help every system in your body that's electrical, which is every system in your body, by supporting your heartbeat, by supporting your heart rate variability, supporting oxygenation, supporting circulation, supporting your brain going into these deeply healing, restorative sleep patterns at night, um, help reducing muscle soreness because again all of these organ systems are electrical and when we're ungrounded we're a closed circuit so they're functioning but they're not functioning in a synchronistic way they are not functioning with support they're not being regulated they're not being nurtured by the earth they're not being informed of healthy rhythms and they're just not docked at all so they can become desynchronized over time and and what do you feel you feel muscle aches you, you're exhausted during the day you can't sleep at night and all your internal organs just slow down and they're not working or functioning as well and we wonder why we might have been disconnected since the moment we were born so many people don't ever touch the earth directly people who are nature lovers and who are outside but they have their hiking shoes on and they're just not ever directly touching the earth so they're really not part of the global electrical circuit so just because you go outside does not mean that you have synced your body up to this beautiful healing pattern of both this DC heartbeat that's consistently there for you, plus this curve that's letting your body know what time of the day it is, what time of the night it is, and what season we're in. This really orients you and your body to a vibrant, healthy life on this planet. I don't think that we can feel our best without grounding. I really don't. Although we're talking about grounding as something new because we're describing it and using it in healing now in medicine, it is not new. It is as old as the existence of life itself. It is our electrically pulsing planet that informs the life on this planet, the living on this planet, whether it's a plant or an animal, human beings, insects, it in informs the life growing off of this planet 
what the healthy patterns are, what season we're in, and when to rest and when to be active. So I really recommend going outside and syncing up our bodies with this global electrical circuit, becoming part of it. And my recommendation, based on my experience with patients, is 15 minutes or more a day. Now you get grounded instantly. You might instantly feel better as your muscle tension decreases, as your circulation improves, and as you calm, your brain kind of goes into these more healing brainwave patterns. So you might feel instant benefits, but because the minute we get off of the surface, we become ungrounded again, what we want is enough of a synchronization with this global electrical circuit that we feel good even when we're ungrounded until the next time we're able to get grounded. And so I have found that 15 minutes or more provides more sustained benefits. So that's my recommendation is to go outside and ground at least 15 minutes a day. Now some people are very interested in grounding indoors because of the fact that syncing up with this Carnegie curve really helps us get that restorative sleep that we're all looking for and it helps us feel more energized during the day. So if you want to sleep grounded, I highly recommend that you only use all natural eco-friendly materials to ground on and sleep on because that's healthier for you and it's also healthier for the planet. I don't think it's healthy to produce these fake leatherette, which is just plastic mats that first of all are uncomfortable to sleep on. I don't know that we want to be you know, pressed up against plastic all night long or the polyester sheets that are also, again, synthetic. But also, how are we thanking Mother Earth when we're going to make a product and use it and then stick it in a landfill for 500 years? I, to me, that doesn't make sense. We're asking for support from the Earth. So let's do it in an eco-friendly way. So because there were no organic, all-natural ethically produced products on the market, I started making my own. So the sleep systems that I recommend are available on my website at intuition-physician.com. And if you're interested in sleeping grounded, that's what I recommend. Do you have to sleep grounded? No, absolutely not. You may want to when you want to increase the periods of time that you're grounding. If you want to ground for hours and hours and hours, it makes more sense to sleep grounded um, because we really shouldn't be sedentary for hours and hours and hours any other way. So your bed is a really good docking station for this global electrical circuit. But I also, I see benefit with just going outside and touching the earth if you can get that 15 minutes every single day. If you want to know how you can go outside and spend your 15 minutes when it's cold or when it's hot or if you live in a city or if there's fire ants or, you know, whatever the obstacle is, you don't have a yard, you don't know where there's any safe green spaces to go, you can still go outside. And that's why I wrote the book, The Earth Prescription. And it's a seasonal book and it goes through the entire year and suggests hundreds of activities to do outside to give you something to focus on for those 15 minutes while your body is docked into this beautiful global electrical circuit and put into a healing state. So I hope that deeper explanation was really, really helpful and I hope you'll share it with someone who's skeptical of grounding. They don't understand why it would make any difference to the human body. They don't understand this beautiful synchronization. This would be a perfect resource to share. Okay, so I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much.